Are you planning to start distance running? Or maybe you're taking on the Cleveland Marathon this weekend. You go. Amy Jamison Patonic is a registered dietitian and owner of Nutrition Today with Amy J. And she's here with the top five foods of the top three beverages for distance runners. Amy, thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. I asked Amy earlier, I said, have you ran a marathon? And yes. she goes, yes. And I said, I have two. I said, how many? One. <laughs> and I said, me as well, and the only one. It was great. It was on my bucket list. My sister-in-law wanted me to do it. But um, it takes hard work. Obviously, you were practicing your running, but more importantly, it's the nutrition. I thought to myself, I said, well, I'm getting married, and this was like three months before my wedding. I said, I'll lose a bunch of weight, whatever. But honestly, you don't lose a whole lot of weight because you are putting a lot of carbs in your body because you're sweating so much. Right. It's so important to eat right. while you train for something like this. I mean, 26.2 miles is a long way. It is a long way. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the top five foods. So we've okay. got 100% whole grain bread, which is a low glycemic index food. It'll give you a longer lasting energy. Okay. And you want to eat that a couple hours before the big event. Now, not why is right it before. important? It has to be whole grain. You know what? 100% whole grain, so it gives you a longer lasting energy, so you're getting all the phytonutrients and the vit vitamins and minerals. Okay. So then next we have peanut butter. Now, I want you to look at the ingredients in okay. the peanut butter. Ingredients, peanuts. Peanuts, just that's peanuts. It. So that's what we want. We want something with a good heart healthy fat, wow. high in protein, once again, great for post event or pre event, but not during. You don't want to be eating peanut butter while you're doing the marathon. No, right. <laughs> right. Okay. And as we're cooking along, right, because gosh, I don't know about you, for me, mile 20 was just, oi. Yes. It was really I'm like, hard. don't even tell me there's 6.2 more to go. Right. I'm OMG. Stopping. Yeah, it was so yeah. hard. But bananas, great source of potassium. We lose those electrolytes while we're training, while we're running. Right. So it's a great source of carbohydrates. And your cramps in your legs. Yes. That will help that as well, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So this will really keep you going. And they usually have these on the race route. Now, after the race, once you've done it, hoo-hoo, good yes. job. You finished. Nuts are and a you, you're great. you're living to tell about it. Yes. Yeah. Great source of anti-inflammatory foods. Really? Okay. Great research study that shows that people who exercise, who eat a quarter of an ounce of nuts every day, have lower inflammation markers in their body, like CRP. They have lower body weight, and they feel better and live longer. Wow. Okay. Quarter an ounce. That's not much. We've got no. our almonds. We've got our walnuts. After the race, have a great celebratory dinner with some extra virgin olive oil. Oh, just pop that in? Just yeah. Well, then, you know, a little salad <laughs> or something. Like that. But olive oil has a component called oleocanthal. Okay. It has as much anti-inflammatory benefits as ibuprofen. So you're no going to have way. some sore muscles, right? Absolutely. I was in Epsom salt baths for weeks after Yes, that. and have some olive oil on your salad, too. Okay. That'll help. A great couple of post-beverage, uh, post-event beverages, chocolate milk. Now, I didn't do that. I, I was unaware of this. Oh, yeah, because it's got fluid for hydration. It's got protein to repair those muscles after you do the race. Okay. And it's also got carbohydrates. So it's like the perfect post-event drink. And a little bit of sugar from the yeah. chocolate kind of gets you going again. Absolutely. And there's been research study after research study to show the support of chocolate milk. And obviously our sports drink because you're right. going to get electrolytes, you're going to get fluids. And we find that people who drink sports drinks drink more so they become hydrated quicker than right. people who just drink water. Now talk about the race route because those of you who are running the Cleveland Marathon, um, a lot of this is provided. Right. Um, you can grab your Gatorade during the race route. Did you have gummy bears? I had, I used the, the goo. Yes, I yes. had the goo packets. I tried everything yes. just to get me right. to that finish line. You got it. But the goo packets are important to carry with you because they don't always have them right. on race and you day. Wanna, you know, I tell my athletes, being a sports dietitian, right. I tell my athletes to know what they want to use during their training. Don't wait till the race. Don't to try all something this. new. Right, because this is not the time to find out that you're going to have gastrointestinal effects. Yes. yes. Right? So you want to know what works for your body. Right, because you'll be stopping in those portables ponies and what have you. Yes. And the goo, make sure you drink your plenty of water, at least eight ounces of water for every packet of goo, because if not, okay. too concentrated in carbohydrates. Okay. Could go crazy. And then you got to worry about chafing and all the other. Oh, it's not fun. No, it's not yeah. fun. But once you do it, it's, it's awesome, yes. right? Yes. It Best is awesome. feeling ever. Yeah, and all these ideas, if you haven't thought about it and you are running the race or you'd like to get involved, will be on our website, too. Amy, thank you so much. Thank you. You always have uh, perfect examples and advice, so it's awesome.